When will enough people say, stop this madness? We don't have to live like this. Too many have died. We should say to ourselves, not one more. Responding to a grieving father's plea, activists made a special delivery to Congressman Rodney Frelinghuysen. 3,300 postcards demanded gun reforms in memory of a California student shot dead in May 2014. The mass killer, a loner with a history of mental problems, had no problem legally amassing an arsenal of weapons. We know that guns are very easy to obtain by people with, with bad intentions, and it's too easy for them to get into the wrong hands. And we know that we can reduce gun violence by the expansion of background checks. Over 30,000 people die every year in the hands of a gun, and we can't do better. He needs to uh, support universal background checks, closing of gun show loopholes. Number two, banning of such weapons which could be used by terrorists, such as a 50 caliber Barrett rifle, which can penetrate a plane, they can fire accurately for over a mile. The 2012 school massacre in Newtown, Connecticut still haunts this mom. I just haven't really felt safe since because my kids are going to be going to elementary school in a few years. And that just really hit home. Newtown is a town like Livingston, and everyone said, we can't believe it's happening here, and it did. We asked, because we're limited in space here, if you come in five at a time. Later, the congressman met privately with the organizers. He issued this statement. I was pleased to meet with the local leaders of Moms Demand Action and Every Town for Gun Safety and to take delivery of the postcards they had collected. We had a good conversation and I appreciate their taking the time to share their views with me. Grace Kennedy had her own message for the congressman. Just use common sense. Don't let money talk when it comes to the safety of our children.